I'm Sue. Um, I've worked most of my life um, in international banking in London. Um, I then had my daughter and that changed everything dramatically for me. My daughter was just about to start school, so I was at a bit, a bit of a crossroads in life and decided that now I'd make the jump before she started school, take her out of London because I wanted her to discover and like grow up somewhere quieter. Initially when I first moved up we had to do private renting which not working it really restricts your kind of landlord that you can have when you're when you're doing private letting so we ended up with a very mouldy one bedroom flat so when we were first up here we had both ended up on antibiotics and steroids with our lungs and we sat that out for as long as we could and after about three months <clears throat> I had to move back in with my parents and then finally because of because I'm a carer for my sister a property managed to come up across the road which meant she can still live independently. That's how we come to actually living in social housing for the first time and I must admit I mean from having my own flat with a mortgage and doing all that I had always assumed that if you lived in social housing yes it would be like that. Um, but then very quickly I realised no. The way it's portrayed in the, in the media it frustrates me um, I can't think of a perfect solution. It's, it's always going to be that those things, um, a negative story sells more, people are more interested in negative stories than any positive aspects. So I did approach it all with caution and I was worried. Um, my first day moving in, it was January, I had no heating or electric or anything set up. I was literally given the keys and moving everything in. Um, and it was freezing cold. And I was bringing boxes in and then I did this voice called out and said how many sugars do you have in your tea and at that time it was one of the neighbours she said you must be freezing she said I'll put the kettle on and she came over and then she brought her husband over and then a neighbour came over and they were like moving wardrobes up the stairs and literally helping me move in and they were so friendly um, and I just thought wow you know I'm home that, that's it it was so friendly out there